Chapter 9, the supreme character of Jada Bharat, beginning with tricks 12, as far as we can go. <coughs> Translation purports by His Divine Grace, as you Swami Prabhupada. So, text 12, at this time being desirous to, of obtaining a son, a leader of Dekhoids who came from a Shudra family wanted to worship the goddess Bhadra Kali by offering her in sacrifice a dull man who is considered no better than an animal. <laughs> И реши да обожава богинята Бандра Кари, като и пренесе в жертва някой слабоумен, защото такъв човек е просто животно в човешки образ. Purport. Low class men such as Shudras worship demigods like goddess Kali or Bhadra Kali for the fulfillment of material desires. Шудрите хора с нещо происход почитат по боговете като богинята Кали, наричам още Бандра Кари, to this end, they sometimes kill a human being before the deity. They generally choose a person who is not very intelligent, in other words, an animal in the shape of a man. Text 13. The leader of the Dakhoids captured a man animal for sacrifice, but he escaped, and the leader ordered his followers to find him. They ran in different directions, but could not find him. Wandering here and there in the middle of the night, Covered by dense darkness, they came to a paddy field where they saw the exalted son of the Angira family, Jadabharat, who was sitting in an elevated place guarding the field against the attacks of deer and wild pigs. Както бродиха и сигурността в тъмна нощ, те се натъкнаха на улизище, където видяха великия потомък на рода Ангира Джадабарата, седнал на една малка могила да пази улизи от сърни и диви свиня. The followers and servants of the Dakhoid chief consider Jadavar to possess qualities quite suitable for man-animal, and they decided that he was a perfect choice for sacrifice. Their faces bright with happiness. They bound him with ropes and brought him to the temple of the goddess Kali. Purport. In some parts of India, animalistic men are still sacrificed before the goddess Kali. However, such a sacrifice is only performed by Shudras and Dekhoids. Their business is to plunder the wealthy and to become successful. They offer an animalistic man before the goddess Kali. It should be noted that they never sacrifice an intelligent man before the goddess. In the body of a Brahmana, Bharat Maharaj appeared deaf and dumb, yet he was the most intelligent man in the world. Brahmana, 
Nonetheless, being completely surrendered unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he remained in that condition and did not protest being brought before the deity for slaughter. Отдаден върховната божествена личност, той не се възпротивил, когато го заведе пред богинята за да го посекат. As we have learned from the previous verses, he was very strong and could have very easily avoided being bound with ropes. But he did not do anything. От предишните стихове научихме, че бил много силен, лесно можел да се защити и освободи от мъжете. Но въпреки това не направил нищо. He simply depended on the Supreme Personality of Godhead for his protection. Просто се оставя на закрилата на Фонта Божествена личност. Шива Бакта има Оттако описва отдаването на Бога в последния начин. О Господи, отдавам Те си напълно. Аз съм Твой вечен слуга. Ако искаш, може да ме убиеш. Ако искаш, може да ме защитиш. Аз винаги ще бъда отдаден на Теб. So this is not very easy. Това не е много лесно. Kind of да имаме тази утвърденост, че Бога ще ни защити във всяка една ситуация. И дори да приемем това, че може да бъдем убити. Марови, ти ме убиеш. Ракови, защитиш ме. Your each chat to her. It's your it depends on you what you want. I, I don't mind. <laughs> so who is prepared? <laughs> Are we prepared? So this is Atmani Vedana, that's like the like the last step in one sense. Uh, we have six steps of surrender. So this is, if you can do the, the, the previous ones, then hopefully we'll come to that stage. But even the previous ones are not so easy. <laughs> if we look at it a little more carefully, uh, first thing is to accept whatever is favorable. Първо да приемем какво е благоприятно. And then to reject whatever is unfavorable. И да отхвърляме това, което е неблагоприятно. And I leave it at that. <laughs> Have we gone beyond that stage? Дали сме минали отвъд тази фаза? So, text 15. <laughs> After this, all the thieves, according to their imaginative ritual for killing animalistic men, bathed Jadabharat dressed him in new clothes, decorated him with ornaments befitting an animal, smeared his body with scented oils and decorated him with tilak, sandalwood pulp and garlands. После съответствие с измисления си ритуал за убиване на хора животни, кръците изкъпаха джада барата, облякаха го с нови дрехи, накичаха го с подобаващи за животно украшение, намазаха тялото му с благоволни масла, сандала паста, сложиха му тилак и гирлянди от цветя. They fed him sumptuously and then brought him before the goddess Kali, offering her incense, lamps, garlands, parched grain, newly grown twigs, sprouts, fruits and flowers. Дадаха му да се найде до носите и го заведаха пред богинята Кали, предложиха и благовония, светилници, гирлянди, печено рис, млади конки, филизи, плодове и цветя. In this way they worshipped the deity before killing the man animal. And they vibrated songs and prayers and played drums and bugles. Този начин изразиха почета си към нея и преди да убият човека животно, запяха песни и молитви в съпровод барабани и рома. Джарабарат was then made to sit down before the deity. След това накараха Джада Барата да седне пред богина. So you can see the Indian culture was so elevated that even these low class people who are about to kill a man They first of all decorate him with sandalwood pulp, give him a garland, feed him. I mean, you know, not just chop off his head and that's it. No, no. So very elaborated and 
high class type of killing. Therefore, <laughs> 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 in this verse, the word Svabidina, according to their own ritualistic principles, is very significant. <clears throat> according to the Vedic Shastras, everything must be done according to regulative principles. But here it is stated that the thieves and rogues devise their own process for killing an animalistic man. The Tamasic Shastras give instructions for the sacrifice of an animal like a goat or buffalo before the goddess Kali, but there is no mention of killing a man, however dull he may be. This process was manufactured by the decoys themselves. Therefore the word sva vidina is used. Even at this time there are many sacrifices being conducted without reference to the scriptures. For instance in Calcutta recently a slaughterhouse was being advertised as a temple of the goddess Kali. Meat eaters foolishly purchase meat from such shops, thinking it different from ordinary meat and taking it to be prasadam of Goddess Kali. The sacrifice of a goat or a similar animal before the goddess Kali is mentioned in Shastras just to keep people from eating slaughterhouse meat and become responsible for the killing of animals. The conditioned soul has a natural tendency towards sex and meat eating, consequently the Shastras grant them some concessions. Actually, the Shastras aim at putting an end to these abominable activities, but they impart some regulative principles so that gradually meat eaters and sex hunters will be rectified. Text 16. At this time, one of the thieves, acting as the chief priest, was ready to offer the blood of Jadabharat, whom they imagined to be an animal man, to the goddess Kali to drink as liquor. He therefore took up a very fearsome sword, which was very sharp, and consecrating it by the mantra of Badra Kali, raised it to kill Jadabharat. Text 17. All the rogues and thieves who had made arrangements for the worship of Goddess Kali were low-minded and bound to the modes of passion and ignorance. <clears throat> they were overpowered by the desire to become very rich, and therefore they had the audacity to disobey the injunctions of the Veda, so much so that they were prepared to kill Jadabharata, a self-realized soul born in a Brahmana family. Due to their envy, these decoys brought him before the goddess Kali for sacrifice. 
е безмислено го плениха, за да го пренесат жертва на другата храна. Such people are always addicted to envious activities and therefore they dared to try to kill Jada Baraka. Такива хора обичат жестокостите и затова се осмелиха да посегнат на Джада Барата. Джада Барат was the best friend of all living entities. He was no one's enemy and he was always absorbed in meditation on the supreme personality of Godhead. Той беше най-добре приятел на всички живи същества. Той не бе враг никому, а бе погонат от мисълта за върховната божествена личност. He was born of a good Brahmana father, and killing him was forbidden, even though he might have been an enemy or aggressive person. Като син на богороден Брамана, убийството му бе строго забранено, дори да е бил враждебен и неприятен. In any case, there was no reason to kill Jadabharat, and the goddess Kali could not bear this. При всички случаи нямаше никакво основание да се убие Джадабарата и богинята Кали не можа да понесе тази наредост. She could immediately understand that these sinful decorates were about to kill a great devotee of the Lord. Тя веднага разбра, че грешните разбойници възнамеряват да убият велик предан на Бога. Suddenly the deity's body burst asunder and the goddess Kali personally emerged from it in a body burning with an intense and intolerable effulgence. Изведнъж статуята на алтара се пръсна на парчета и от нея се появи самата богиня, чието тяло блестеше с нетърпимо ослепително сияние. Обяснение с предведическите канони, само нападателят може да бъде убиван. If a person comes with an intent to kill, one can immediately take action and kill in self-defense. Ако някой е нападен с опитът да ни убие, може да го убием на място през самозащита. It is also stated that one can be killed if he comes to set fire to the house or to pollute or kidnap one's wife. Позволено е да убием на ози, който иска да подпали дома ни, да обезчести или да отвлече съпругата ни. Lord Ramachandra killed the entire family of Ravana because Ravana kidnapped his wife Sita Devi. Бог Рамачандра е бил целия род на Равана, защото той облякал съпругата му Сита Деви. Но всички останали случаи, шастрите забраняват убийството. Обиването на животни жертвоприношения за полугове, които са представители на Върховната Божествена личност, е разрешено за мусоятци. This is a kind of restriction for meat eating. In other words, the slaughter of animals is also restricted by certain rules and regulations in the Vedas. Considering these points, there was no reason to kill Jadabharata, who was born in a respectable, highly exalted Brahmana family. <clears throat> he was a God-realized soul and a well-wisher to all living entities. The Vedas did not at all sanction the killing of Jadabharat by rogues and thieves. Consequently, the goddess Bhadra Kali emerged from the deity to give protection to the Lord's devotee. Това Бадра Кали излязе от статуя си и го спасила. Шила Бишвана Чакравати Тако explains that due to the Brahman effulgence of such a devotee as Jada Bharata, the deity was fractured. Шила Бишвана Чакравати Тако обясняе, че статуята се изчупила поради сиянието Браман на великия предан Jada Bharata. Only thieves and rogues in the modes of passion and ignorance and maddened by material opulence offer a man in sacrifice before the goddess Kali. Само кръци и разбойници, обладени от гоните на страстени вежето, заслепени от материалното богатство, могат да правят човешки жертви при мушения за Kali. This is not sanctioned by the Vedic instructions. Подобни ритуали не са разрешени от Веди. Presently, there are many hundreds and thousands of slaughterhouses throughout the world who are maintained by a puffed-up population mad for material opulence. In our time, there are many people who are poor and material wealth to preserve the tens of thousands of people in the whole world. Such activities are never supported by the Bhagavad school.
Но такива дейности от Азер с изпълнението на Агавата. Any comments or questions until this point? <laughs> Някакви въпроси или коментари в този момент? Not, we will continue. Text 18. Intolerant of the offenses committed, the infuriated goddess Kali flashed her eyes and displayed her fierce curved teeth. Разгаряйте богиня, не можа да изтърпи това злодеяние. Очите им бяха мълни, оголи страшни, закривени, зъби и показа ужасяващият си лик. Her reddish eyes glowed and she displayed her fearsome features. Бе превъзвещ образ, сега се готвеше да унищожи цялото творение. She assumed a frightening body as if she were prepared to destroy the entire creation. Oh, leaping violently from the altar, she immediately decapitated all the rogues and thieves with the very sword with which they had intended to kill Jadabara. <laughs> She then began to drink the hot blood that flowed from the necks of the beheaded rogues and thieves as if this blood were liquor. <laughs> Indeed, she drank this intoxicant with her associates who were witches and female demons. Becoming intoxicated with his blood, they all began to sing very loudly and dance as though they prepared to annihilate the entire universe. At, the at that time, they began to play with the heads of the rogues and thieves, tossing them about it as if they were balls. <laughs> But Rakali Kijai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a wonderful painting actually when they do this. Oh, so, uh, really? But I don't, we don't have this here. Good <laughs> <laughs> look for it. Um, okay, purport, you know, Prabhupada's purport to this. It is evident from this verse that the goddess, that the devotees of goddess Kali are not at all favored by her. <laughs> <laughs> it is goddess Kali's work to kill and punish the demons. Goddess Kali Durga engages in decapitating many demons, decoys and other unwanted elements in society. Neglecting Krishna consciousness, foolish people try to satisfy the goddess by offering her many abominable things, but ultimately when there is a little discrepancy in this worship, the goddess punishes the worshipper by taking his life. Боговите хора преемберегват Кришна съзнание се опитват да удовлетворят, като и предлагат отвратителни неща, но в крайна сметка за най-малката от грешка положението богинята отнема живота. Demoniac people worship goddess Kali to obtain some material benefit but they are not excused of the sins performed in the name of worship. To sacrifice a man or animal before the deity is specifically forbidden. Text 19. When an envious person commits an offense before a great personality, he is always punished in the way mentioned above. Okay. This actually ends the story. So we do we I can we can stop here and tomorrow Maharaj will continue with what Shukadeva Goswami says to Maharaj Parikshit. Stay tuned. <laughs> Any other comment? Question. Don't ask me about the <coughs> drinking of blood. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So, what? Yeah, for Kali, she could see, she could recognize Jagat Bharat as like a pure devotee. She could just see that he was 
a pure mm -hmm. he is a pure devotee but if we think about like for example other demigods and in the Krishna book like uh, for example Indra when he was about to kill all the Brayabhasis with the heavy rains or when Brahma kidnapped the, the, the Gopas I mean, I mean, the Gopas didn't realize because they were sleeping, but the, without the help of the mother, they would be, like, without the help of Krishna, the mothers would be like very disturbed, even without seeing the children. But I mean, Krishna took the form of the Gopas and then they didn't get disturbed. But I mean, like they didn't realize, I guess by Yoga Maya, I'm trying to say, figure out, like, Yoga Maya was covering like Indra and covering Brahma for the purpose of, 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 the, of the pastime. Right. Because otherwise they would realize they right. were pure so, devotees, they would just see that. Again, you answered your own question. <laughs> because I'm speculating <laughs> about the answer. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like that. Mm -hmm. you know, Krishna's, I mean, we may wonder sometimes why it, you know, these exalted personalities behave in strange ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Някой път може да се чуем защо тези възвишени личности действат по странен начин. Случва, защо Кали разпознава Джада Барата, а Брама и Индра в своите забавления с Кришна не го разпознали. Да, so uh, whenever Krishna wants to have some specific pastime and the demigods are playing a part, then they are playing the part, whether they are stupid or bewildered or apparently uh, antagonistic. Когато Кришна иска да има специфично забавление, тогава полуговете трябва да участват в него и го предружават и той прави така, те да изглеждат или заблудени, или глупави. Yeah. So, антагонистично настроение. И в същото или може да погледнем от друга гледна точка, как не трябва да се държим. Но това са аранжименти на Кришна чрез Йога Майя, как трябва да действаме и как не трябва да действаме. Но има много инстанци, как това. Even the same story of Maharaj Bharata, we mentioned that when he becomes attached to the deer, um, it's not ordinary attachment. Има и други случаи, както за самия Барат Махарадж, превързаността към еленчето, което не било обикновено превързане. But from our point of view, we should see it as a warning. Don't do that. <laughs> it's very dangerous. От наша гледна точка трябва да приемем като предупреждение, бъдете внимателни. Uh, even if it's only a deer or a dog, what to speak of it's a human being, the attachment is normally stronger. Uh, за превързаност към елен или куче, когато говорим за човек, когато превързаността е доста по-силна. And at the same time, well, he did it because of some specific auspicious parapta karma to intensify his devotion. So, but we shouldn't think like that, that we become attached to it. I will become attached now just to intensify my devotion. That's Maya for sure. Също време това забавление е било благоприятно заради неговата парада карма, за да може да усили привлечението си към Кришна, но ние не можем да действаме по този начин. But Krishna does many, he makes arrangements, the cursing of Parvish Krishna Maharaj is another arrangement. The cursing of Chitra K2 is another arrangement, which, but at the same time, there's always a lesson from, from the other point of view. Krishna prays such arrangements, the protection of Parikshit Maharaj, of Chitra K2, but there are always other people who are going to be taken in these situations. And you can see in Prabhupada's purpose, he will uh, take this position, and it, if we just take that, then we become confused. Така че затова и ще го пропада в поясненията, дава и своята позиция и друга гледна точка, че ако приемем само едната, може да се объркаме. Да, както когато Читракейто бил кърсен, той е сказал ремарка за Шива. И когато Читракейто бил проклет, имало така една бележка, спрямо за бележка, която трябва да вземем под внимание за Шива. Което е инапропиат. <laughs> and Prabhupada points it out, you know, that one should not, he shouldn't have done this in one sense. That's what he says in one purport. 
Ефимов ти го ще отпропад, каза, че от една гледна точка той не е трябвало да прави този коментар. But then it's also, then he also describes that actually they were like friends and they were jokingly saying these things. В същото време обаче те били приятели и те се шегували по този начин. And therefore Parvati shouldn't have cursed him. И по принцип Парвати не трябвало да се проблема. So on one hand, yes. It's very good. He should be cursed because he made a mistake, and then he didn't make a mistake, and she shouldn't have cursed him. So then we may all know what is what now. Is this this way or is this that way? От една страна той не трябва да казва това, но пък също не може да го каже. От друга страна пък тя може би се объркала да направи проклятието, така че и тога му се обърка на кое нещо да трябва. Because we judge things from our experience, and it is normally not very Съдим нещата от нашия опит, затова в тази гледна точка не сме толкова широко скорени. Meaning to accommodate apparently contradictory situations we find very difficult. И когато трябва да приемем очевидно различни истини, тогава се обърваме. Yeah, as I said before sometime, it's due to It's just a cultural baggage Western minds have by, you know, being educated in Aristotelian logic. И може си каже, че също за хората от Запад това е вид културен багаж, който носят спрямо образованието, което са получили като знанията от Аристотел. Аристотелиан логик means, you know, if it's, the sun is shining, it's not raining. Примерно, значи, че щом пече слънце, значи не вали дъжд. Ако вали, значи не пече слънце, така че не може да имаш и двете. Но, това, което е сега, е, че има нещо, 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 че има нещо. И според тази лока обаче това, което ние чуваме, че има едновременно еднакво си различие, няма как да бъде. Как едно и също нещо може да бъде еднакво и различно? Не може и двете неща. Така че ние имаме тази трудност да разбираме. You know, uh, in the middle of the day, completely blue sky, sun was shining, and it was raining. <laughs> 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 down and everything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, even in the material world, some things like that may appear. Life is not black and white. <laughs> yeah. The rainbow appeared then. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, anything else? We are still good for two minutes. Thank you so much. Uh, yesterday you were speaking about the dualities and uh, you gave even a very simple example with Barcelona, the warm weather there. Oh. Oh, yeah, to Manodharma, to whether it's good or bad, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and uh, in these mm -hmm. verses uh, today, I see that Jada Bharata is uh, equal even in death and life, the pure devotee. Yeah, yeah. Completely equal to, equally disposed to everything. <clears throat> and uh, when we struggle with this, uh, what is the solution? <laughs> we, we just serve Krishna, and by serving Krishna, we develop this equal vision, or we should also, with our intelligence, we should try to understand the situations and... True. You answered your own question. Both, no? We try with our intelligence, but normally it's very limited, so we have to also get Krishna's inspiration, mercy, revelation to see things beyond just by trying to understand by our own power как да минем от двър двойственостите. От една страна трябва да използваме интелигентността си, но поне сме ограничени, трябва да разчитаме и на Кришна. Когато Кришна казва в Бхагавад Ита, че с лампа, 
of knowledge I dis dissipate the darkness of ignorance. What does that mean? I mean, of course, we, we have to try whatever we have as a capacity to understand things, but we should know, we know it's limited. Many philosophical truths you may try to explain with words, but there's a limitation. Especially that which is considered to be transcendental. Aprakrita, it's beyond the material world, beyond the three modes, beyond the three dimensions we experience. So how can you understand with your brain? So then we rely on what is called revelation. Which is kind of intangible. Even to explain it to somebody else, you can't really do it. Right? And there are even things in the material world which are based on personal experience. You can't really explain. You can give some hints, therefore we have analogies. It's like, you know, how is it with the moon? You point out the moon by pointing out something else and then you can get some idea where it is or something like that. I don't remember the exact analogy. Yeah, but otherwise um, one has to experience it, otherwise you cannot understand it. Yeah, a simple thing like somebody is in love. <laughs> and then somebody seeing this from the outside, they really think he's, this guy's crazy. <laughs> Which probably is true, but <laughs> <laughs> but the person feels something that nobody else can understand. <laughs> Especially if you never had the experience in in the other form. <laughs> you know what they are talking about. Oh, you can you cannot understand. You know how you feel. It's like <gasps> the heart and the. <laughs> but it's reality, obviously, for the person experiencing it. Anyway, it's a very mundane example, but we all have the, most of us have the experience, <laughs> I guess. And uh, people think it's the most wonderful thing in the world. Which it is. Of course, there's nothing beyond that. You know, it's the reflection of Krishna Prema, which is the most wonderful thing in the entire creation, both material and spiritual. All you need is love. Love is all you need. <laughs> Nobody remembers that, 1967. <laughs> 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 Eurovision, you remember that first Eurovision, Übertragung im deutschen Fernsehen, aus England, all you need is love. Love is all you need, love is all. <laughs> It's a long time ago, 55, 56 years now, oh my God, you know, we were young and beautiful, now we are only beautiful. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> try to summarize that. <laughs> I mean, even the most mundane people, they understand this because that's how it is. That's how, that's how life is. But it's inconceivable. 
So, you know, many things are inconceivable and you have to experience. Много неща не могат да бъдат възприяти, затова трябва да бъдат преживяни. Alrighty. Shila Prabhupada ki jai, Shrimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Sisi Nani Gurakkar ki jai, Krishna. Okay,